Hello folks, Paperboy Trucker back at you with an update. Today is Sunday. I left the North Little Rock yard. I think uh, the last time we talked, I picked up the load Friday in Fort Smith and was going to head to North Little Rock with the home load uh, for some off time, which I have done. And uh, so I, I went to the North Little Rock yard this morning. I don't know, I got there probably about 7.45 and uh, loaded up my truck with all my laundry and food and stuff and then uh, you know, did my inspection, got a truck wash real quick because there wasn't a line and uh, hit the road. So now I am about three and a half hours south of my destination in Carroll Stream, Illinois and uh, I'm going to get up early in the morning and do the rest of the trip. Probably head out about uh, 4.15, 4.30, something like that. I'm going to plan on more time than it's it should take me just because the weather's kind of bad and it'll be dark and should plan on more time. But anyway, um, Let's see, I wanted to address a couple of questions real quick that I've received from people over the last few days. Um, one of which is, you know, why do I recommend or like Maverick? So, you know, that's, that's a legitimate uh, question. And I've tried to address that some in past videos, but you know, uh, they're a good company and uh, they keep us keep us rolling um, even back in February March when the COVID thing was on fire and you know I know a lot of truckers uh, I've talked to uh, out in the field on the road you know they they felt uh, a cutback on their freight uh, whether it be owner operators or some company drivers they uh, you know there was there was a, a stall in the freight there for a little while a few weeks and with Maverick didn't really feel that you know I think they pulled their efforts together in the office with their brokers and or maybe not brokers but account managers or you know the people that booked the freight and uh, they kept us busy and uh, you know I, I never have to worry about freight being there you know no matter what time of the year uh, you know I, I don't ever worry about I've never had a lull with the freight while I've been in Maverick um, and I hear guys talk about that all the time. So, and then you know they're just a good company. I, I, none of the information that uh, you'll find on the website or talking to a recruiter, uh, none of that stuff, you know, about pay or how it's going to work, has been misleading. You know, everything's worked out like it was supposed to for me. Um, and uh, it's, you know, especially with me, it's super convenient to where I live. Uh, I like the shipping lanes, you know. I like the the territory I'm covering most of the time, and uh, and the money's been, you know, the money's turned out to be better than I expected, you know, this soon. You know, I, I really did not expect to make as much as I did, you know, in my first year. You know, I. So that's that's good. That's a bonus. Um, so you know that's that's pretty much it. You know I just I feel like it's a good company to be at. I'm happy with how things have turned out. I'm not unhappy about anything. So uh, anyway, that's that. Um, and it, you know if you're looking for a, if you just got your CDL and you're looking for a company, I think you can't go wrong with Maverick especially for a place to come and get your experience you, know, you can branch out from there later if you want and do other things uh, but to start out with uh, I don't think you can go wrong and if you're looking to get your CDL you can do that at Maverick too all right speaking of that one of the other questions I had was um, if you come to Maverick to get your CDL how long will that take and how many weeks would it be while you're not getting training pay 
So good question. Um, and from what I can tell, coming to Maverick to get your CDL should take, depending on you, two to four weeks. Now during that time, you, they don't pay you. They do feed you and house you. You know, they've got a place there, like a little mini hotel or dormitory, if you will, where you can stay. Um, but you don't get training pay yet. You know, you're just going to CDL school there. You know, they, they provide breakfast, lunch, and then I think they give you a, a prepaid visa card to where you can go get your dinner. Uh, they have, you know, uh, courtesy vehicles there uh, that you can check out and go to the store or go to a restaurant, you know, whatever. So after that, after the CDL part of the, the you know, the school, and you move into the, uh, you know, you actually move into the hiring phase, and you know, you then you go through a couple more weeks of the, you know, what I call the the learning the Maverick way stuff and safety things, and how to read maps and do trip planning and all the securement training. Uh, you know, that took a couple of weeks, as I remember. And then once you accomplish that, you know, they assign you a trainer truck and you go out for two to four weeks with a trainer. And again, that kind of depends on you and the trainer. You all have to kind of agree that you're ready to finish training and get your own truck. Um, and and during, during that time, you know, during the, uh, the securement training and all that, I think you get $700 a week, you know, from that point through your trainer truck. So hopefully that clears that up. Another question I had was from a, a taller gentleman that said he was 6'4", and he was wondering, you know, how tall the interior ceiling is on the truck. I never really considered that. I've never hit my head. Um, I'm 6'2". Um, and it appears, I, I didn't get a tape measure out, but I'm 6'2", and it appears that I have about three inches of space between the top of my head and the ceiling. So, you know, if you're 6'4", six, 6'5", six, or taller, uh, you know, you might have to duck down a little bit. But, I have emailed uh, one of the folks in the office to see, you know, is it an option? You know, let's say you're super tall and you're six 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 eight you know is it possible that you get a a, a double bunk uh, bed you know like trainers use uh, which does have a higher ceiling because it's got that extra bunk up there so um, I don't know if they'll accommodate that you know if you're super tall or not but hopefully I'll get a reply on that soon and I'll share it with you okay um, that's it for now. I'll update you tomorrow.